Okay, let's simplify these ratios. Ratios are just like fractions on their side, and instead of a fraction bar, you have a colon. And you simplify them in the same way that you simplify a fraction. I'm looking for a number that will go into both 15 and 20 evenly. And I can tell that 5 will go into both of them. So 5 will go into 15 three times, because 3 times 5 is 15. And 5 will go into 20 four times, because 4 times 5 is 20. And there is no number that will go into both 3 and 4 evenly, so this one is simplified. 56 to 64. Well, I'm looking for a number that goes into both 56 and 64 evenly. Well, it looks to me like 8 will go into both of them evenly. But if I didn't see that right away, I might have tried 2. Okay, 2 goes into 56. Let's see. Half of 50 is 25, and half of 6 is 3. So 25 plus 3 is 28. And then half of 64, half of 60 is 30, half of 4 is 2, so that's 32. And now you can see that I'm still not done. Um, so looking at that, 28 and 32, I think 4 will go into both of those. So 4 times what number gives me 28? It's 7. And 4 times what number gives me 32? It's 8. And 7 and 8, no number will go into both of them evenly, so that one's done. Now it's the same idea even if you have three numbers instead of two. Um, you're looking for a number that will go evenly into all three numbers. So as I'm looking at this one, 12, 48, and 6, um, it looks to me like 2 will go into both of them. And there is a bigger one, but let's just stick with 2. Um, 2 goes into 12 6 times, because 2 times 6 is 12. And 2 into 48, well, let's see, that's half. So half of 40 is 20, and half of 8 is 4, so that would be 24. And half of 6 is 3. Um, and it looks to me like that there's still another number that will go into all of them, and it happens to be 3. Um, 3 goes into 3 one time. I'm start at the other end because it was easier. And 3 goes into 24 8 times because 8 times 3 is 24. And 3 goes into 6 two times. Now, I really want this 2 and this 8 to reduce further, but it can't because the 1 won't reduce any further. So this one is as simplified as it can be. Um, now the last one, 6 to 15 to 21, it looks to me like 3 goes into all of those. So 3 times 2 is 6, so this would be 2. 3 times 5 is 15, so that one would be 5. And 3 times 7 is 21. And nothing goes into 2, 5, and 7, so that one is 